If you want to be able to add a user to your Google Search Console account, whether to help you analyze the data or to help you figure out how to fix an issue that pops up, this is really easy to do. And here I'm gonna walk you through the very quick and simple process of how to add a user to your Google Search Console account. If you would like step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots so you have this to reference, you can click the link below. But go ahead and log into your Google Search Console account and I'll show you what to do. From your Google Search Console account, on the left-hand navigation bar, you're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down and select the settings option. Here you will see a users and permissions section. You can click through there. Below you will see a list of all of the current users, but you can select the add user button to create a new user. Here you're going to enter their email address. You do need to enter a Gmail account here, and then you're going to select from permissions. You have the options of owner, full or restricted. If you provide the user with owner permissions, this gives them full control over the, all of the properties in Google Search Console and they can do all of the same things that you can do as an admin here. The full permissions gives them the right to see all of the data and they can even take some actions here. And lastly, you have the restricted permissions and this gives them simple view rights on most of the data. So this is good if you want someone to be able to see the data, but not be able to make changes or do anything else within the account. If you do want a bigger breakdown on these different permission levels, I will link to the permission table directly from Google so you can see exactly what they're going to gain access to as a full or a restricted user. Once you have added the email address and selected the permissions, you simply click add. And now the user has been added to your account and you'll be able to select from this icon here and you'll be able to remove their access at any time or change their permissions if need be.